Guys, this time, lastly, surely a division, which a lot of people can struggle with, so don't worry if you are. Okay, well, I'm going to use three sums here to show you how to do it if you've forgotten the method. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one first, okay? So on this one, you can see we're doing 88 divided by 4, okay? So if you've got 88 divided by 4 as a question, this is how you'd set it out. And remember, each square would have its own number in there, okay? So you've got 88 divided by 4. Now, this time, we work this way, okay, which is opposite to addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So, we work our way along the number. So, first, we need to see 8 divided by 4. So, how many 4s are in 8? Now, we know our 8 to uh, sorry, 4 times table, so we know 2 times 4 is 8. So, we know there are 2 4s in 8. So, above that number, we write 2, because we know there's 2 in there. We've done that number, and we move on to our next one. Luckily, it's the same one. It's as if I'd scripted it. Okay, 4 and 8. 8 divided by 4, we already know, is 2. So we put it with 2 above. Now we know we've got 22. So 88 divided by 4 would be 22. Okay, let's move on to a little bit of a harder one. Okay, now we've got 90 divided by 6. Now this one's a little bit harder because 6 doesn't exactly go into 9. So we need to work out something else. So if we find out how many 6s are in 9... Okay, so you can count through in the table if you want and go as far up as you can without going over. So if we did the six times table, we go six, twelve. Now we know twelve's over, so we can't include that one. So there's only one six in nine. So we just put our one there. But we have some left over because one times six is only six. So we need to count on to the next number. Okay, so six, seven, eight, nine. We have three left over. So we put our three left over there, and then we've got 30 here. So now what we need to see is how many sixes are in 30. And all we need to do that is to count through and out six times table. Okay? So we would count through, and we know that there's five sixes in 30. So you put our five there. And now we know that 90 divided by six is 15. Okay? Last one. This one's a little bit of a harder one. Okay, We've got 4 divided by 89. Now you're saying, why is this so much harder when it's only one more than that? Well, let's see. Let's have a look. First, we need to do 8 divided by 4. We know that's 2 because we've done it here. So we put our 2 there. Next, we've got our 9. So we need to see how many 4s are in 9. Okay, So we can throw in a 4 times table as high as we can without going over. 4, that's fine. 8, fine. 12 can't go to 12. So we know there are two, okay? So we put every two there. We already knew that really because we had it there. So four times two, but that is only eight. We know four times two, four times two is eight. So we have one left over, but we have nowhere to put it. So where do we put it? Okay, quite simply, that is just how many we have left over. So we just put remainder one. Okay, just going to go over that one again because it can be a little bit tricky. Okay, so 4, how many 4s in 8? The answer is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. We've got our next number. How many 4s are in 9? 9 divided by 4. We know there's 2 there, but we're at 8, so we need to count on. 8, 9, we have 1 left over. We have nowhere to put it, so all we say is that we have 22 and then we have 1 left over. Remainder 1. And that will get your answers. I hope that helps you out, guys. I know division can be hard. But if you need any more questions answering, just come in and...